Mom? Yeah. I'm going to ask you one question on video. Yeah. Well, what can wool do when you're planting plants? It holds the water in. There's your answer, guys. Yep, there's your answer, guys. So I know this looks really weird, but this is about two fleeces. They're dirty fleeces. They have a lot of vegetable matter in them. Getting all of that out is going to be impossible. So instead, I'm going to use it as the water absorbing layer of my hotbed. So the rest of the hotbed is old bedding from the goats and wood mulch, and old bedding from the goats and wood mulch. And then the top about eight inches is just logs, like hugel culture old lumber. And now here on the top is going to be wool. I'm going to put my peat moss right in right on top of the wool. The reason for that is that the wool will retain moisture like nobody's business and it will eventually decompose and become growing medium too. But I'm super excited to have this much wool to put onto it. So I'll go ahead and show you and hopefully my, it's kind of overcast today so I have no idea what my lighting looks like on this. Ah. As I water it in, the bed will sink and start to heat up. Are you being careful? Yes, but they stay. Did they? And you should go take that water bucket to um, Chamomile and try and see if they want any. I want to be sure that they have enough dirt 
before I transplant them. If I transplant them and they don't have enough dirt, then the, all the rabbit manure and everything will damage the roots. So I poured, so I poured dirt into the hole. I'm going to plant it deeply. Now you have to make sure to plant it deeply, but not too deep or else it will make it so that it's hard for the plant to drink. Correct. So, this was a tatsoi, uh, uh, little seedling that came in accidentally. is really really warm which is kind of good yeah it's good I can keep the tomatoes nice and warm. so I have this little tomato in here and I cannot get the legs of the tomato cage in all of this underneath the mulch. I've got about six inches of mulch on the top, but after you get past that six inches, um, you hit rocks. Nothing but rocks. <laughs> and so I'm a little concerned about my ability to, to um, support that tomato uh, to support the well of water I'm about to put over it. We'll try something with a little bit smaller gauge wire. See if that helps. I don't think that's going to help. You get down to the actual dirt. And you can't get past it. So I have the tomato cages in. I only have three wells of water. Or actually, I think I have four. I think I have an old one from my mom. So maybe I'll save these. I swear by them. In our climate. I use them even after the cold is gone. And it's summer. I'm still using these to protect my tomatoes and my cucumbers. <laughs> 